WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern time on Monday, three hours left to go in the trading day, and we got markets right around flat territory right now. S&P is negative by one point, trading at 3,013. Dow Jones negative by 30 points, trading at 27,302. NASDAQ, where's NASDAQ? Negative five points, trading at 8,239. S&P and Dow right up there near record highs, so pretty muted action to start off the trading week. We'll jump over to the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow, and we were about 100 points higher pre-market. 3.30 a.m. Eastern time, you'll see all the markets pre-market were up in higher territory. You have the Dow up there almost reaching 27,400. We're now trading just under 27,300 at 27,296. NASDAQ 100, highs just around 9.30, and there is your correlating high to about 3.30 a.m. We're actually above that level, just about pre-market, 79.67 right now in the NASDAQ 100. S&P is sliding lower for most of the session. There's your 9.30 a.m. bar. You trade from 3,021. We're now about eight points lower at 3,013. Crude oil trading lower as well, under $60, now trading at $59.70. We were just up there at $61, we'll call it, two pennies within at $9.15, so quite a drop. Gold contract, $14.14.57, nothing too crazy going on in gold yet this morning. And the euro US dollar trading a bit lower as we get a little bit of euro weakness, a little bit of dollar strength, euro trading at $112.59. In terms of what else you have going on out there, Earnings season, bank earnings, Citigroup coming out with their earnings this morning, beating on earnings per share, buck ninety-five versus a dollar eighty. They also beat on revenue, eighteen point seven six billion versus eighteen point five. Not bad. That's an extra two hundred and sixty million dollars in revenue in ninety days, even though it's just two decimal points. And to jump over to the chart though, there is City. Almost unchanged, but in negative territory. Off two tenths, 16 pennies in the negative, trading at 71.61. We were up at 73.06. And we actually love these thinker swim charts. They always show you there is the earnings drop at about 8 a.m. And there is the conference call. As whatever they were saying, market seemed to like it. You traded from about $70.50 when that call began up to 72, sitting at 71.61. Stay tuned, folks. We got our man Steve Rhodes coming up with the Trader's Edge right now, live from 1 till 2. Dave White with the Power Trading Hour, live from 2 till 3. And Tom O'Brien is back live from 3 till 5 as he wraps it up. Stay tuned, folks. Steve Rhodes coming up right now.